welcome this evening. It's uh, session number two of the Yankee Tea News. We need to first talk about the Russian situation in Washington. Before I start in on this, though, I want to provide some historical perspective. Here you have these strange, hollow, thin claims about some kind of underhanded dealings that would have taken place between the Trump campaign and Republicans in the run-up to the election. We're still waiting for evidence. I mean, you can point to a phone call here and a meeting there, but that doesn't mean anything. So the perspective I want to introduce is the one where we and the Russians have had quite the tussle since what was known as the Cold War, okay? So we're talking 70 years plus of a back and forth relationship between what was then the Soviet Union and is Russia today. Had their spies and moles, we've had our spies and moles. We've had exchange programs of all kinds with them. You need to take a look at some of the things that the Democrats have done over the years. You had, when Kennedy contacted the KGB for helping him with his run for office. Okay, no one has really talked about that. The other big point that I want to bring up is you can talk about collusion all you want based upon these thin allegations, but what about collusion that's right under your nose for the whole world to see? I don't think there are many of us who are ready to forget watching Obama when he thought the microphone was off, leaning over, talking to the then president of Russia. Yes, and after my election, I have more points with I'm thinking sedition, treason is definite possibility. What's the stuff about having more flexibility? You know, no one ever really investigated that. There's collusion. You'll see the picture of, um, I believe it's Ambassador uh, Kislyak, who was right there in with the Democrats in Trump's speech. So in the middle of this whole dust up, how is it that you have this um, old Russian hand who's an old person been in uh, Washington DC for decades, well known, well respected, and well suspected, and to have him hanging out with the Democrats. What sense does that make when they're trying to throw these uh, charges at Trump and the other people in sessions? And then you'll see a picture later where it's of uh, Vladimir Putin with a look of love in his eyes as he stares at Chuck Schumer. Yeah, wh what was that all about? So while they're making allegations, here we have obvious pictures of interactions between Democrats and Russians like there's no big deal. And another thing that hasn't been talked about, Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden. What's he doing on the board of a Ukrainian oil company? Nobody said anything about that. So the hypocrisy is really just, you know what, out of control. For those who've been paying attention to the news, the three Pakistani gentlemen who were IT specialists in the House of Representatives who were discovered to be spies for the uh, government of Pakistan, paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. Also, I believe they shuffled information to the Iraqi government, if I, if I remember correctly. So all of this storm and theater uh, distracts from what is clearly a substantial and incredible breach um, of the American Congress. And the Democrats are the ones who hired them. They work for the Democrats. What else do you need to know?